Hello everyone, my name is Henry Ransom. I'm a system application engineer for Schneider Electric, based out of Nightdale, North Carolina. For the next few minutes, we'll be talking about the TSIS Island Digital Load Management System and how you can utilize the protection warnings to prevent downtime. The TSIS Island Digital Load Management System demo panel that we'll be using today is pictured on the screen. The demo panel includes a TSIS Island Ethernet IP bus coupler, with an integrated operation and maintenance tool. We'll connect our laptop to the bus coupler and we'll be able to adjust the parameters for the devices in the island that are stored inside the bus coupler itself. The TSIS Island hardware includes one digital I.O., one analog I.O., one voltage interface module, and two 9 amp starters. The island is connected to a Monocon M262 PLC we're using an ethernet cable to connect the PLC to the island. Our load is a 120 volt bi-directional motor. During the presentation, we're showing you jam warnings and the jam simulation switch here is what we'll be using to turn on and off to simulate the warning. We also have start, stop and reset push buttons. For today's demonstration, we'll be utilizing the TSIS Island demo station that's shown in the lower right-hand corner of our screen. On the left-hand side is the actual web device page for the bus coupler that we'll use to manipulate the parameters and check the status of each of the devices in the demo station. The device page is included free in each of the bus couplers and no special software is needed. In the upper right-hand side, is a web visualization screens that were developed inside the Monocon M262 PLC. We're exchanging data between the Monocon M262 PLC and the TSIS Island. You can see the operational data for the diagnostics being displayed along with potential causes for, in our case, a jam alarm. With the TSIS Island demo unit powered up, We've logged into the device page using a laptop and an ethernet cable, and we've come over to the settings for the two direction starter. I've set the jam alarm, enabled it, and I've set the jam alarm a level to 120%, which is 120% of the full load amps of the motor. When the current reaches 120%, we're expecting an alarm to be triggered, but the motor not to stop. I'll be utilizing the forcing functions to turn the motor on. You can see with the motor running, it's spinning in the lower right hand corner and you can see the current that is drawing. You can also see in the web visualization screens of the data, it's drawing about 400 milliamps and there is no faults at the current time. With the motor running on the demo station, we'll turn the jam switch to simulate a jam alarm. With the jam alarm simulated, you can see on the left hand panel that the motor is still running. It's drawing about 400, milliamp, 400 to 500 milliamps and the jam warning is on. In the panel to the top right, you can see that we've now signaled that there's a potential for a belt jammed and we have a flashing call maintenance light. You can see on the demo itself, the light is flashing. Once the jam is cleared, the motor would continue running and the operator could push a reset button to clear the alarm. You may have taken the data coming back from the motor alarm to perhaps you were overloaded on your conveyor, but you didn't want to stop. So you could actually cause it to go in a reverse direction and then back in a forward direction. Thank you for watching this short demonstration today of how a TSIS Island jam alarm could help a conveyor system eliminate downtime. Other industries use different devices which could benefit from the TSIS Island data provided. For instance, a fan blower, you could detect whether or not the filter was dirty. In an auger application, you could sense whether or not it's time to do an auto reverse to prevent a jam. Or perhaps you're looking at device alarm data, which you wanna know when is the end of life for a starter, or perhaps if there's an upstream breaker trip. All of this and much more can be taken from the TSIS Island and used in your process.